What's up guys, it is your boy Rem here, your favorite Radiant Superstar, and a lot of you people ask me, oh Rem, how do I get sick nasty aim like you? So today I'm going to teach you the truth. The truth to getting sick aim is using raw excel. Now how do you get raw excel, you may ask. Today I'm going to teach you. Now if this video helped you out, make sure to help me out by dropping a like and subscribing. I love helping people out and let me know in the comments any other things you'd like to learn about this game. In order to get raw excel, you're gonna have to go to this GitHub link, I'll link it in the description, and download the raw file. Extract it all to your desktop, and once you've downloaded, simply just run the installer and restart your computer. After you've restarted your computer, go ahead and open up raw excel. Thanks to today's sponsor, we're also gonna be able to give away one Reaver 2.0 bundle. Just comment your favorite skin in the Reaver bundle, and like this video, and the winner will be picked in one week. Good luck. Today I've got some amazing news for you guys, I've been lucky enough to be sponsored by not one, but two awesome games. And they're both different, so if you don't enjoy one of them, you're probably going to love the other. First we're going to start off with Mechrena. If you enjoy fast paced competitive shooters that focus on weapons and chaos with your friends, then you'll definitely want to check out Mechrena. Mechrena is a 5 vs 5 shooter with a ton of unique mechs with different abilities and an insane variety of weapons. My favorite mech in this game is probably Zephyr, they're one of the strongest supports in the game and unlike other supports. Zephyr has 18 final energy, which makes them a lot stronger than other supports. Now for the other game, we have Raid Shadow Legends. It's fun and skillful, and you can endlessly replay this game. This game has over 700 unique heroes to collect, and it's a ton of fun. If you haven't already, you need to try Raid Shadow Legends. Millions of players are already currently playing this game every single day, and it's got an endless amount of content from brutal dungeons to huge clan bosses. And if that doesn't sell you, it also has high stakes PVP battles against other players, and that's a huge reason that it's still growing. Do not miss out and make sure to check this game out. My personal favorite part about Raid Shadow Legends is the fact that while most RPGs have taken an action focus lately, Raid Shadow Legends sticks with the turn-based combat style. And not only does it work, but the combat system is actually so deep and captivating that it feels so much more satisfying than any action RPG could be. It really gives me a lot of nostalgia from a lot of the childhood RPGs I used to play. So you have two options now and both are completely free and both will massively help me and the channel out so make sure you give one a try. Whichever one you choose make sure to use my link below or scan the QR codes to get some special loot. If you download Mechrena you'll get one Firelight skin, one Prodigy crate and one Plasma Cannon equal to $25 for free. And if you also choose Raid Shadow Legends through my link you'll also get an additional $30 worth of free in-game loot, and we're talking about a free epic champion, 200k silver, 1 energy refill, and 1 XP boost. You can find your rewards here in the chest on the top right, so do me a favor and get to downloading the game. It'll really help support the channel, and thank you to Mechrena and Raid Shadow Legends for sponsoring this video. The Rock Cell Curve Helper, what you're gonna do when you get to this link to find your sense, you're gonna go ahead and make a copy. And then once you open this up, you're gonna input all of this information uh, down here. So whatever your DPI is, it's recommended 1600, but let's say, so let's put in 1600 desired DPI feel. I like 800 and then we're going to put my in-game sense in. So put uh, 0 0.6, let's say. So 0 0.60. So this would be your sense multiplier. And then for your cap and output, you're going to run a test with a lower sense. So I usually, if you want to test, you'll do about half of this. So in-game sense, I put low sense 0 0.30. And then for a low sense, you'd see I'd I would use this multiplier 0 0.5 and cap output would be 2 but if I wanted to do a higher sense than 0 0.6 we'll do um, 1.2 and then this would be our multiplier and our cap output this is there's also options for uh, using two EDPIs which I don't use so yeah this is basically I use rod cell curve helper and yeah I hope it helps you out a lot Instead of explaining to all you guys like calculus and all these other things I'm just going to show you the curve styles that I use on rod cell if I'm using low sense, then I use this curve, or if I'm using high sense, I'm going to show you a different curve. So first we're going to start off with a low sense. So set your rod cell to classic and set your power to 2.4. Power basically changes how fast your curve will ramp up. And then I'll set my cap output to 1.5. This will cap what your sensitivity accelerates to as well. But you're going to want to play around with these settings to see what feels best. Acceleration is all personal preference, but I'm going to use 0.03. And last, input offset, I set to 14 because it doesn't accelerate until you really need it to. And again, play around with these settings. It could help you finding the perfect sense, which everyone's looking for. Set it to linear, and then I use 0 0.2500 for my sense multiplier, and I set my cap to three. You can play around with all these settings yourself again, 
But again, I use Raw Excel Curve Helper, which will be linked in the description, and that will definitely help you find your perfect sensitivity. Using this can definitely help you rank up, and I like how anti-cheat friendly it is, so I definitely suggest trying it out. If this video helped you out, please consider dropping a like and subscribing. It helps out the channel a ton, and it would mean the world to me. Also, if you have any questions, feel free to comment them down below, and I'll try to read them all. Also, before we finish this video, I want to let you guys know that if you have any educational content that you'd like to see from me, or any suggestions, comment below what you'd like to see, and I'll try to get to it. Thanks. Bye.